Across the Wonderlands, formerly to the star, is having a free demo for Steam Fest. This is a fun and quirky survival game. Let's take a look. I've been told that there are people Here we go. who make wishes whenever they see stars falling from the sky. I was waiting only for that one star to fall on my planet. What? He came back after all these years. Looks like his ship didn't fare too well. I should check out that debris. But first, I need to get some supplies for this trip. Okay, we got the initial controls. And we're gonna start gathering items in this very colorful creative world. Tells us up left, pick up three cupcakes from the table. So we're gonna go find the table and I'm gonna collect things along the way because you know we're gonna need them. We have a basic kind of weapon here, mushroom on a stick kind of thing it looks like. I think the sound effects are really funny in this game too. It's very creative. I hit this tree enough. What do I get? Coral fabric, green coral young wood, coral tree sapling. So there is going to be a kind of farming and it's going to have the usual crafting, building, survival type things. I feel like I should find some food. Let's see, if I hit tab, I can see my inventory. Starting out with some basic armor. I have some pebbles, things I've picked up. There's an ammo quick pick and a main quick pick. So that's kind of similar to Enshrouded. I can see down here my health and my hunger bar on the bottom left. And then there's building menu, what you start with. Skills, there's different skill levels for your briefcase, which is a very interesting thing. We'll get into that. General statuses and emotions, which are used really interesting. You can kind of use emotions to apply effects to things. It's similar in a way to kind of the Nightingale stuff that you can make unique things depending on what you combine to create. Can I get that bee? Give me the bee. Ooh, I got a honeybee. Nice. It's a really fun and quirky looking kind of game. Give me something. I feel like I need to eat something. I should look up. Look, that tree doesn't have any fruit on it. The other one does. These things, I know from testing before, will smack you. But I can use right mouse and throw a pebble at it. Get the smack out. <laughs> so I can either pick it up or eat it. An Eldritch Eggplant. I feel like right now I should eat it. Give me a little bit of filling up on my hunger bar. What is that? Cotton candy? I'm gonna eat that too. Ooh, that gave me a lot. That gave me a lot of food. Red coral edge. I like how it has a little hand on the things that you can actually break apart. Once you get up to it, it tells you. This tree has apples on it. Sunblush apple. I'm going to put some of this food in my... I'm going to hit I for inventory. I'm going to put some of the food in my uh, quick pick bar so I can do it with hot keys. I'm sighing. Does that mean I'm hungry? Or is he being impatient with me? All right, don't smack me too hard. Look. No. No. Stop smacking me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick these up. It's a vegetable, it says. You have different categories of food and stuff. Um, galactic ginger seedling. It's growing and I could pick it up. So I'll be able to plant these. Pick up and galactic ginger. See all the foods give you different information about them. They all have different durations and effects. Some are spices that add things. The green one, that's a vegetable. So this gives me health regeneration. Ginger gives me an effect. What was that? 
Look. A surprise emotion. I want to add surprise to something. Popping poppy seedling. I'll take that so I can plant it. And a popping poppy. Yes. I have a feeling this will be useful. And here are my awaiting cupcakes. Pick up. Pick up. I'm not going to eat them because it said to pick them up. A touch of cotton candy would add some electricity to those cupcakes. Mmm, that's a good tip. Let me read this real quick. One peculiar afternoon, I was strolling through the meadow with a delightful treat. A cupcake topped with fluffy cotton candy. Whether it was my clumsiness or a sudden gust of wind, the treat slipped from my grasp and tumbled to the ground, forgotten as I wandered on. Later... I return to a curious sight. A slimy So he's gonna tell me a story about how a cupcake covered with cotton candy determination made the slug sparks shrink filling the air with a crackling noise. Come here, bee. The cupcake must have been enchanted. For the moment the slug tasted it, tiny electric bolts shimmered, leaving the slug half its original size. And looking both surprised and indignant. Got it. Okay, so. Harvest three cotton candies from rabid candies or find them on the level. I found one, but I ate it. So, it pointed over this way. Ooh, look at this. Blueberries? Waterberries. That seems like that would be very useful. Um. <laughs> those are the rabbits. Look, they're sleeping. I can get it. Pick up. Cotton candy. It gave me cotton candy. I think they're probably easier to catch when they're asleep. What do you think? Oh, it gave me rabbit candy. So I think, like, if you hit it, it turns into cotton candy. Yeah. If you just pick it up, you get a rabbit candy. But if you smack it first, you get cotton candy. And it's electrifying. What's this? Ooh, go, 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 go. What's going to happen? Astral powder. Flower. Interesting. So a different ingredient. I wonder if that applies an effect or if it's just a basic ingredient. But flour is something that's used in a lot of recipes usually, right? Seems like that'll be useful. More bees. Give me bee. Bee. Oh, good. Come here. I want your cotton candy. Come here. Come here! Gotcha. Oh no! Where'd you go? Come back. Everything I need. Okay, I got them. I'm gonna get the rest of these too while I'm here though. B, come here. Got it. Oof. Nice. And the rest of the water berries. Oh! He popped out of the grass. Come back here. Okay, fine. Don't. Water berries seem like they would give you food and water. Is water separate? I'm going to put the water berries in my hot bar, too, because I have a lot of them. What's that? Fruit jam? Yes, please. Health regen, plus 10 per second. Fullness, 60%. Nice. I'm going to use that when I am um, doing... Delicious. Delicious! Oh, it does give me a water effect. That's probably a little buff. Okay, so it wants me to press I for inventory. Now, drag and drop one cotton candy to each cupcake, giving it an electri electrified status. So this is for slot crafting. So you can craft some things right from the slots in your inventory. Drag cotton candy onto cupcake. And now I have cotton cupcake of durability filled with electricity. <laughs> okay. This tutorial is, um, doing pretty good and leaving, leading, leading me through these initial figuring it out parts. Okay, it said add, load it up as ammo, so I'm going to put it in my ammo quick pick. I should test if these slugs still shrink when zapped with a bit of electricity. I should. Throw a cupcake with cotton candy on a slug to shrink it. So if I hit right click... It goes to throwing. I'm going to switch to slot number 8. So I have it ready. It was on slot number 1. Which would be throwing pebbles. At things. Okay. I'm ready. 
I'm ready to take down a slug. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here quick. Oh my god, buddy, B. <laughs> There's so many fun, silly things to grab. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh, look, I was just going to follow the path, but you can see the little icon star marker there. Where to go to learn the next section. Refreshing tea. Maybe I should eat something if I'm going after a mob, right? Where was that thing I found? This one. Fruit jam. Right click, I can consume. Oh, I can assign it right from there. Drop craft with it or equip it. Interesting. I'm going to consume. Like... <laughs> it's funny. You keep grabbing some stuff as I go. That looks interesting. Anything that looks different. What? Come here, come here, come here. Got it. You know, playing survival games, you just kind of get in the habit of collecting everything. I am a, a survival game hoarder. I'm not afraid to admit it. It has come in handy many times. Astral powder. Okay, is that? That's a slug right there. That looks like a fiery slug. Let me get up here so it can't reach me so easy. Okay. What's gonna happen? Not so big now, huh? Ooh! Stay back from the initial blast! Time to figure out what crashed on my island. Okay. After I pick this stuff up. Slug meat. I, I feel like I shouldn't eat that raw for some reason. <laughs> Snail slime. Yum. Oh, it's a bond. I wonder if that's used in building. Is this a glowy thing? I mean, there's glowy things everywhere, but what is this glowy thing? It looks like something. Oh, it's another fruit jam. I'm gonna eat it. Fruit jam is good. That does a lot of filling up the hunger bar. More honeybees. Come here, come here, come here. Honeybees are always helpful, right? It's like the beginning of Valheim. Sunbeam oil. Olive. Interesting. Sunbeam seedling. Yes, please. Grow my own at home. I want more honeybees. Honeybees! Honeybees! Honeybees are always handy. I mean, maybe not as much in enshrouded when they try and kill you, but their nests are still handy. I'm taking the Valheim root trend to collect all the bees I can. Apples. Okay, where's my marker? Where am I going? Investigate the debris. It was this way. Yeah, there's the marker. I'm gonna throw... I don't want to waste a cupcake. I'm gonna throw a pebble at this thing. Do your spinning out so I can pick you up. Um, let me eat one and see. Much better. What is that? What is that in the water? I want it. It's fast, whatever it is. Is that a fish? What is this? Honeybee egg? Hatching in 30 minutes. Oh, can I take it home? Yes, please. There's so many things that I'm looking around going, Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? I want the thing in the water. It sounds silly and fun, but will it attack me? <laughs> I don't... I don't know, but I have a feeling. What is this? <laughs> Listen to that sound effect. That's funny. I wonder if I need a different tool to get that. Water berries are easy to get. I think that's a good starting food. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going? Up here. I kind of like how the water is shallow and doesn't really slow me down. I'm not slogging through it. That has a different icon. I, do I need something different? I think I need something different to harvest that. Did you hear somebody snoring? What's over here? Honeybee. Ooh. Shrine activated. Look at those evil eyes. Okay, this is where a crash happened. This thing is not in the best shape. There's goodies scattered. Honey. Eat. That gave me a lot of food. What is this? Black stardust. Let's collect everything. Surprise emotion. Nice, so that'll give me some type of a buff or effect. What is this? Rusted battery. That's for power. Metal parts. Scrap. Okay, so is that going to be for crafting or building or both? More snail parts. Slug meat. 
Hmm. I think if we die, this is where we respawn. Pretty sure. Um, what does it say? Gather materials to re required to build a puff propeller. This must be a puff propeller. And it gives me the list in the top left of what I need and how many I already have. That is so handy. Okay, so I need one more snail slime and I need five coral old wood. I'm assuming that comes from a tree. Is, are you coral old wood? I can punch you, right? It has the fist. Where'd it go? Coral old wood. That is a solid. Old coral seedling for planting. Coral fabric. Okay. So that'll be for crafting armor and clothes. Nice. It wanted honeybees and I was already collecting them. So that worked out well. And are you got it? Sponge blobs back there. The names too. Sponge blobs. It's hilarious. Okay. So now I need one more snail slime. So that means I need to find another snail. What is that? Lunar shade olive. Oh, look. You can get the olives off of it. Cool. What was that? I don't know what all these sounds are. Some of them are funny. But I'm like, even if you sound funny, I don't know if you're going to try to kill me. So let's throw a pebble at you. I'm going to be able to get a slingshot too. So that'll make my pebble throwing more effective. What? I... Oh, look. He's snoring. It's nighttime, so he's snoring. Should I try and just attack him and save my cupcake? He doesn't look too bad. He's little. I can take him, right? Let's see. Oh! No. oh. Get back! No! No, no! Oh, he tried to grab me! Stop it! Get behind him! Get him! Get him! No! Don't explode on me! Ew. Gross. Snail slime! Let's do some skill building. Phew. I hear snoring. There's another one sleep. Look, it's right there. Should I try and get it? I should. I should get it while I can. The boy wakes up! Oh no, 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 no! Don't blow up on me! Whew. I got back. Okay. What if I eat it raw? Will it make me sick? Let me try. Oh, I got poisoned. No bueno. <laughs> don't do don't eat raw slug meat. I mean, you probably didn't need to be told that. <laughs> so, enter the brief base. Hold Q outside of combat. Yeah, you can't. So, this is a really cool about thing about this game. You have a brief base. It looks like a briefcase, but it's your brief base. You throw it, and ta-da! <laughs> Hello! I'm in my own little realm. This is my safe realm. It's like your home zone in Nightingale. And you just like carry the brief base with you. And you can throw it and go in whenever you need to. But not during combat because that would be too cheaty. Okay, so I need to build the pro puff propeller from the skills tab. First I'm going to pick up these things. What are these? Meat tartar. Sun. Oh, father's note. I'm going to pick that up for now. So there's a storyline in the game where we've crashed on this island and dad is off and he's going to return. And so we have to get to the star. What is that? Is this something for testing? I don't know what that is. Interesting. Here's my slingshot. Nice. And so, yeah, we're waiting for our dad to come back to this place, this island that we landed on. Headband. So I have some little backup clothes armor here. Sandals. A club. Let's equip the club. If I look at inventory. Now it's in my quick slot. Okay, so club has melee damage plus three. Oh, but my mushroom mace had six. So I'm going to switch that back. And then, what are you? You're in a little nest. Rabbit candy. Fed with vegetables? <gasps> what is candy? So he's like laying candy and I can feed him and have my very own? Hello! 
And then I have the beginning of a farm here. So we'll be able to expand that. There's more nests over here. What is this? Sunblush tree seedling is growing. I have a honeybee egg hatching. Ooh, I wonder if I could put my other honeybee egg out here and end up with more honeybees here. Because I have a honeybee egg. Place item. Here, go right there in the nest. What? What happened? It went flying. <laughs> that was so funny. The sound effects in this game are hilarious. I don't know what these exclamation marker things are over there. Is it sharks? I'm not ready for sharks. I don't know what it is, but I'm not ready for sharks. Okay, we need to build the puff propeller. So we're going to press L, it tells me. Choose to build it from the skills tab. Okay, skills, general, statuses. So different statuses we can have. Wet, electrified, burning, frosted, poisoned, and stunned. Briefcase, throwing. You can have a briefcase brief base vortex allows you to suck any object or creature into your magical brief base creating a whirlwind of possibilities clean up the battlefield capture foes or throw treasures directly into your brief base instead of keeping them in your inventory that's genius nice i almost have the stuff to make it too okay briefcase throwing puff propeller that's what i'm looking for Puff propeller lets you harness the power of the wind with a not-so-gentle puff. Glide gracefully through the air, navigate tricky terrain, or blow away obstacles in your path with puff propeller. Your adventures are sure to reach new heights. That's cool. So this is kind of like a glider, but then it also says you can blow away obstacles, so it has multiple uses. And then briefcase customization. There's a radio, so you can change the music in here. I'm pretty sh Was that one of my suggestions? I don't remember. Or did we just talk about it? I'm not sure. Sun Spinner allows you to change the time of day in the briefcase. Briefcase, briefcase, I keep saying both. Briefcase Skies lets you choose from multiple predefined skins for your briefcase sky. Cool. Obviously, not everything's available in the demo right now. And the game is still in development. Okay, we're going to build the Puff Propeller. Wow. So this is like the one that we found that was crashed. They appear to be having fun. All right, time to head out. You can upgrade it apparently. It's using honeybees to power it. <laughs> That's funny. It's doing a good job of walking me through this initial guide of what to do next to figure out how things work. I like that. Okay, I'm going to put more food in my quick pick before I head out again. What should I put? I don't want to um, use up all my candy. The honeybee is in a jar. Can I move things in my inventory and organize? I can. Thank you. Can I drop things on the ground and leave them here? Look, if I put the seeds over by the farm to save me inventory space. Or I could just place it. Can I place it anywhere? Oh, that was easy, and it gives me a growing time. Maybe I should have put it in the farm. I don't have anything to do terrain manipulation yet. I'm sure that will come. Okay, candy. Okay, that's food. Let's put that down here in our main quick pick. And these two are food. Let's put them down there. I'm sure cooking is more complex, but right now I'm just um, eating beginner raw food. Okay, exit the brief base. Hold Q. And I'm back. Whoa. There's something up on that rock above the crash site. The propeller should get me up there. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to use the propeller to get up there. Hold right mouse button and scroll down or hold left alt. Oh, look! That's handy. So, like, tools, you just scroll down or just hold alt, whichever you prefer. And I have a number one, the icon for my puff thing. I'm going to throw it right there. What? So it's making a puff of air? Holy crap! Oh, yeah. 
Look out where you do that. Um, I, I, I need to eat something. Give my health back. Okay, so yeah, be careful where you jump. There is fall damage. <laughs> my health is coming back over time as well. Okay, let me try this. Let's put one right there. Oh. Oh, so I used it up once. Is that why it's telling me to go back? Do I have to refuel it? That'll come in handy. Oh, I pressed Q and it came back to me. So it was sitting over there. Let me try again and put it here. There. Okay, so I can reuse it. I have to recall it to me. All right, let's see if I can do this without dying. Hey, success. Got it. Time to leave this place. I need to go through snotty. I need to go through snotty. That's not something you hear every day. <laughs> Open the journal entry with J. Is that snotty down there? Look at all the slugs. They're awake now. Wow. Okay, J for journal. Reaching new heights. God, this doesn't sound like something my dad would write. It doesn't? Defeat snotty using slot crafting, briefcase throwing, and your skills. Let's see. After countless experiments with airflow manipulation, I have finally achieved success. The puff propeller stands proudly, its massive blades whirring above a group of creatures that seem to be enjoying themselves as they help power it with their movement. They're very powerful little bees, aren't they? Honey bees. This remarkable device produces a powerful current capable of lifting a grown man skyward. The key was precisely calibrating the propeller's pitch and rotation speed. With this marvel, we can now harness the wind to transport goods and people effortlessly through the skies. Handy. The possibilities are endless, and I eagerly anticipate the transformative impact this invention will have on our world. Um, I would think so. Okay, so, is it telling me where Snotty is? Do I have a marker on the map again? Oh, I need to pick up my, can I call it from up here? Q. That was handy. It's funny how, like, I whistle and it just comes to me. You know, I bet it was my brief base sitting on the ground doing that. And that's why I could call it back to me with Q. I need to defeat Snotty using slot crafting, briefcase throwing, and my skills. Let me know what you think about this game. I think it has a lot of potential. It's really cute. Really nice little indie company working on this one. Give them some support. Go and check them out. Do the free demo during Steam Fest. It's open till October 21st. And let me know if you do better than me at taking out Snotty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reassess my approach. <laughs> If you do like it, if you think it has potential, go ahead and if you have a second, you can leave them a review on Steam and that increases the chance that they'll be able to keep going forward with this project. I like it. I think it's fun and it has a lot of potential. So let me know if this is something you'd be interested in seeing more of. I think it's kind of fun to some sometimes do some games that are a bit more lighthearted. So I hope you liked this sneak peek. Until next time, happy gaming.